has entered into a definitive agreement with Hewlett Packard to buy a little over 60% stake in Memphis. Reema Tendulkar is joining in with the deal details. Reema, we know that Memphis was on the block for a long, long time. Now, explain the contours of the deal uh, for us and what it will mean for the company. Yes. Well, um, for starters, Emphasis, uh, the promoters of Emphasis, that's HP, which hold a 16.5% stake in the company, will be selling their stake to Blackstone at a price of 430 per share. That's an 8% discount to Friday's closing level. And this will trigger a mandatory open offer of 26%, where, according to the SEBI formula, uh, the tender open, open offer price is 457. That's about a 2% discount to yesterday's closing level. Now, the key concern that um, everyone had in Emphasis was the declining contribution of HP to emphasis revenues. So HP's revenues to emphasis in Q1 of F5-12, to give you an example, stood at as high as 66-67%, which dwindled down to 24% as of the last quarter. Even in absolute terms, it was a fall of 70%. Um, at that time, in Q1 of F5-12, HP contributed nearly $190 million to emphasis, and that came down to $55 million in the prior quarter. But what Blackstone has assured the emphasis shareholders is that um, they've got guaranteed revenues from HP for a period of 11 years. For the first five years, on an escalating basis, Hewlett Picard has committed $990 million over a period of five years, and it's for the first time that HP has included emphasis in the preferred provider program, which will result in incremental revenues. Not just that, the other key reasons why Blackstone has gone ahead and acquired emphasis include that emphasis has a strong focus in BFSI, a domain experience in digital, deep client relations. They've got an experienced, stable, and professional management team. The fourth reason is they've got a world-class delivery capabilities and customer satisfaction. And fifth key reason is that Emphasis can actually get additional revenues from the 80 portfolio companies that Blackstone has. So now for a minority shareholders, you have two options. One, you could perhaps tender in at a price of 457 per share, or you could believe that Blackstone is capable of providing more value to emphasis than the current market price, and then you could stay invested. And if this deal is going down the same way as Bearing, what Bearings could do to Hexaware, remember Bearings acquired Hexaware at a price of 135 per share, and now Hexaware is doubled because of the kind of strategic experience, uh, expertise that Bearings could bring to Hexaware. If this is going down, that road, then perhaps emphasis in is, is in a better position under the promoters, and as having Blackstone as promoters, than HP. So right now, for a minority shareholder, you have an option whether to tender in the open offer at a price of 457 per share. That price definitely doesn't seem to be exciting the market too much. Could explain why the stock is a little lackluster. Rima, thanks so much for all that perspective. Let's now